Alrighty, uh, what can you do? Jay here. Today we're going to be taking a look at some more replays using Sword Soul Tenyu, which is one of probably the best decks in the game uh, currently. So this build of mine is slightly antiquated. I haven't had any duels um, with any other versions, but this one since I built uh, Denlong and Nine Pillars of the Yangzing. These are two cards I'm going to be throwing in here um, for the build, but the, the, the replays we're looking at are, is going to consist of what we've kind of got right here so it's a pretty standard straightforward build for the most part um nothing out of the ordinary uh it's very consistent it's better than the dpe package because it's a little less bricky it's extremely hard to really to really brick with this deck honestly um pretty much all of your tenny stuff is an extender or our extenders they can be special summon for free basically if you control no effect monsters so they make overall good starters not extenders but good starters uh, bad Yu-Gi-Oh terminology right there. Uh, I do have a Colossal Fighter in here because I still don't have a better level 8 Synchro and this one's free. Uh, but again, yeah, you get a, there's a lot of utility in this deck, a lot of recovery capabilities, and uh, it, it's just such a powerful deck. So let's uh, let's take a look at some of the replays. So Sword Soul is becoming ever increasingly popular within the Yu-Gi-Oh Master Duel uh, meta. Overall, a very powerful deck that has so much recursion so many so many like comeback plays it's a very very strong uh just uh deck we're, gonna, we're the first duel right here i think was i believe against anti-meta yeah it was against anti-meta um nothing too spectacular really happened throughout this duel the guy was going out of his way to basically stop me from playing the game and of course we're going to be doing the typical bear and floor combos for those that are new to sword soul uh, one of the key things that I learned is chain blocking with Moye and uh, Chi Shao. Uh, Chi Shao. So when you synchro summon uh, Chi Shao using your Moye, you're gonna get two effects. Obviously, Moye is gonna let you draw a card. Chi Shao is gonna let you search. Uh, you want to do chain link one Chi Shao, chain link two Moye because that prevents your opponent from potentially ashing. Uh, your Chi Shao. Now, if they have infinite impairments, I mean, there's nothing you can really do about it, but the search is infinitely more important than drawing a free random card because you can search either, uh, I don't know, another Sword Soul Extender, or uh, you can search your Sword Soul Trap card, which allows you to pop a couple of cards on your opponent's side of the field. You also want to make sure you get that Baron to Floor out to you to prevent the Bureau play as well. But um, as you can see right here, we've searched out our Sword Soul Blackouts, we uh, we searched out. Wait, uh, we we searched out another uh, uh, Ty, uh, Taya, Tia, Tia. I always forgot how to pronounce these names. We searched the Tia with the Sword Soul emerges because of his graveyard ability, her graveyard ability. Um, <laughs> but again, they, like I said, my opponent here was playing uh, what looks like to be anti meta. So he's gonna try to destroy my field. Obviously, I'm not gonna let him do it. You know, bearing the floor and the likes. Gonna negate all of these shenanigans. And then he summons Fossil Dino. Uh, he fossil. He summons Fossil Dino. I use a uh, blackout to pop Dyna and the Moon Mirror Shield he had equipped, and uh, Baron with Baron's effect, I'm obviously gonna pop his back row. You know, we're gonna get some more summons on the field. I misplayed right here, activating the secondary effect of Sword Soul Emergence. So when it's banished, you can increase or decrease the level of a monster. In my head, I thought I was about to do something kind of big brain, but I it was a stupid idea, just a bad play all around. Um, but I mean, th this is one of the duels that I did win. Uh, Baron de Floor no longer has obviously her negate ability anymore because it's only a once per while face on the field effect. Um, he crashes Water Statue into my Baron, and you know, with Moon Mirror Shield, uh, whatever monster it's equipped to is going to have 100 plus more attack than the monster it's attacking. Um, but we're going to use Ecclesia to get out a free Moye. Uh, Imperm was activated to make sure, or was activated on this to make sure I can actually still synchro summon and whatnot, uh, because you know, with. With water statue you can only summon water monsters so we don't we don't really want that to um to, to be a thing next duel only lasted uh <laughs> it only lasted like um leave three turns it's uh it, i feel bad for this this guy honestly uh, um uh he he did his best to negate everything that i uh tried to play pretty much um you know so one thing about this deck is it's heavily focused on banishing so this artifact lancia basically prevents me from using like 80 to 90 percent of the deck pretty much there are a lot of uh banishing effects and i probably did a couple of misplays here but i was a little frazzed with that lancia play it just kind of threw me off a little bit i couldn't literally well do anything for the uh most part i 
was very conflicted on what I wanted to do here, but then he had an imperm and stopped me from doing the whole Halka Fibrax, Aurorodon combination. Uh, it, I just kind of gave up right here, honestly. I probably shouldn't have summoned that Ecclesia. I probably just should have tried to make a play with that dust butt but the problem was i forgot to put mecha phantom beast o-line in the deck so well i'm not the best uh Yu -Gi -Oh player yet anyway so uh he's playing prank kids actually we ended up ashing i believe his fancies so he couldn't special summon from hand or deck and um we start trying to do something here i literally just start summoning everything pretty much from my extra deck in hopes that i could get some kind of coherent play uh going and uh it sort of works out in the end. You know, it clears more a little bit, pops, push some things back to his extra deck. Uh, we get a few more summons off and well, <laughs> he just surrenders. <laughs> oh man, but uh, the, right there, it kinda, it's kind of interesting to see how much stuff that the deck can really do with uh, so few um, so few resources. And so for the last duel, we're gonna be playing. Now this, the, reminder, this is gold here. This is still a road to platinum kind of, uh, series pretty much uh and this opponent we played was playing dragon maid this duel took me roughly 30 minutes this guy's connection kept dropping he kept thinking about every single play i came close to surrendering so many times um and it was it was a very painful experience i really wish there was a rule implemented that allowed you to to not play players that have either this bad of a connection or do not know what their own deck well you know does no disrespect to those players, obviously, but that's kind of what the solo modes are for, for practicing, for learning your decks, kind of. Um, and the problem also here was this guy had an out for almost everything that I did. He maxied me the very first turn. I just kind of gave up and said, well, I'd rather not have him draw his entire deck for free, pretty much. Um, whatever happens, happens. If I lose, well, you know, whatever. That's just the way of the game, pretty much. Uh, but... We ended up only giving him, like, I think two additional draws, pretty much. Uh, his deck was okay, for the most part. I looked at it after the duel. It was kind of, kind of meh. It wasn't really a full-on god-tier Dragon Maid um, build. But what was annoying about this player was he kept pushing everything I had back, either putting it back in my hand or just taking it out for the field. It was very annoying. Now, couple this with the fact that he could not make up his mind on what cards he wanted to use, on top of the fact that his connection dropped like every single other minute, it was driving me crazy. So what's funny about this play right here, this whole setup, this back row persisted pretty much throughout the entirety of the duel. This is the card that kept stopping him from making every single play or he was thinking about it every single time. I kid you not, there's gonna be a play at some point in this um, replay where I literally don't care whatever else he has on the field, I get rid of that back row specifically so he does not have to think about it anymore. Or it doesn't, it's, it's not, I just don't have to think about it anymore. Also, I didn't realize this, because honestly, I literally walked away from my computer for a minute to just check Twitter and get some water. I didn't even pay attention to what he was doing anymore because of how long the duel was taking. Did not realize he dropped Max C right here. Uh, <laughs> Didn't realize, uh, didn't realize he did that. So, uh, O-Lion's ability, I actually truly forget about. If you control a token, he can't destroy a battle of card effects. I honestly truly forgot about that. So he popped that Max C in hopes of getting a free draw off of my token. Um, he also negates my damn called by the grave when I attempt to banish his uh, chamber dragon mate from grave, because I figured that's probably what he's going to summon um, or get back. But he actually goes for the other Dragon Maid instead, so... I'm sorry, I, he, he was... I, I, I intended to try to banish, I believe, this. Um, truth be told, I actually just missed the play. But I believe I tried to banish this because I knew he was going to try to try to summon more beaters on the field. But I digress. So we sacrifice our O-Lion to get uh, Long Yang on the field. Uh, because we literally don't have any other way to summon him. Long Yuan. Uh, we get a free token on the field. He's gonna do a couple more searches or attempt to, but I'm gonna negate that with uh, Ash Blossom. And then he triggers Dragon Maid Downtime, which was a card I, you know, unless I'm unfamiliar with the Dragon Maid strategy, I don't really ever see too much of. Um, <laughs> he also, since he activated it earlier, he had a Paleozoic Dynamiscus Engrave, and he's able to get a free summon off of it. Um, but we negate that Chamber Dragon Maid search. And then this is a card that pretty much saved me the entire uh, duel. 
So we made it. We managed to get Chen Ying out. And the, 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 the problem with this entire duel right here was this guy doesn't read his cards. He, he does not read not his cards, but my cards. He doesn't read the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Um, you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. It's actually kind of funny. He also preemptively activated um, Dragon Maid uh, Tinkhek for no reason to bump his house dragon made up by a lot i guess he thought i was gonna slam into it um but we're reaching the point of the duel where i realized my opponent just doesn't know how to really <laughs> uh read Yu-Gi-Oh cards um so the thing is he attempts to pop my chen ying chen ying has a very unique ability where if it would be destroyed by a card effect you just banish one card from your graveyard instead and if a card is banished, you can banish one card from both your opponent's field and graveyard once per turn. So that first ability of him not being able to be destroyed by card effects is an infinite ability as long as I have the resources in grave. So he's going to summon Borlo Furious Dragon to try and pop Ching Ying. And I'm just like, I mean, I just have free protection. <laughs> um, he slams into my uh, Mecha Phantom Beast token, and that's pretty much the end of that turn right there. So, this duel was weird. It was very weird. We draw an Ashina. Uh, it's pretty useless. He attempts to activate Furious Dragon again. So, I negate it, or I prevent the destruction uh, by banishing a card, and then I get to remove two free cards from his field. So, that back row that I was talking about, it was literally just cross out designator. <laughs> this card caused me so ang so much anguish throughout this duel, which again took about 30 minutes. I refused to surrender. Like I just knew I kind of could win now once I determined that he didn't read Cheng Yi's effect. But at the same time, by the point I realized that we were already 20 minutes in, and by the time this duel ended, it had been almost over 30 minutes at that point. Um, but we get rid of the cross out designator and we also banish his Dragon Maid uh, fusion spell uh since it has well you know a graveyard ability he brings back tank Hack, and the, 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 i i don't understand the plays here it, there, there was really no i, I don't understand what the, what the what the goal was here honestly um he goes for dragon mage shio again and then turn nine rolls around i he um he, he, I think he was attempting to get back Tank Hack, uh, but just didn't work out like that, honestly. <laughs> he was probably going to use this for the attack boost again, which is really easily avoidable. And by this point, we've banished so much on both sides of the field that my Chen Ying is at 4,100 attack points. And then, um, well, he just scoops. I kid you not, this was the worst duel I've probably ever experienced in this game, and it's ironic because this guy's name was Die Screaming. So that's pretty much the entirety of the deck profile uh, or the duels of the replays that we've had uh, thus far with this deck, which is really incredible. Also, I don't know why my other shiny version of this isn't in the deck. Do I only have two shiny versions of this? And fun duels, I hated that last one with a passion. Now the build that I'm kind of going to be playing around with is going to be more of a trolley nine pillars with denlong kind of build i mean this deck is so so damn consistent it's uh, almost impossible to really well you know no brick every card is a starter pretty much minus a Taya. uh you have so many options you can lock yourself in the worms all you want but i mean again everything is uh, everything in this deck is a worm pretty much you can go off with so many crazy combos i really 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 love this deck um, gonna have some replays coming soon with this version of the build. I know I said I was gonna do a lot of Despia related content too, but I actually really, really enjoy the uh, Sword Soul archetype a lot. I love the card art, I love the cards, I love the whole theme of, I guess, uh, it, I, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't call it, is it like Chinese? Is it Chinese? I don't know what the, what the brightness of, is of it or the ethnicity of this deck, uh, but I, I love the way this deck plays very, very much. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep some more replays coming, guys. Thank you for watching. The support on the Yu-Gi-Oh! videos has been impeccable, and I really, really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.